every death is hard, but this one hurt, especially part of me wonders if I somehow failed him. I know how dangerous this neighborhood can be. And was I vigilant enough? You can't bubble wrap these kids through life, but could I have done more? Hello America, I'm Pastor Corey Brooks. From the south side of Chicago to the nation's capital, this is Rooftop Revelations. Many of you know me as the Rooftop Pastor. I recently spent 343 days living on top of a roof through Chicago's cold and heat to bring awareness to the violence and to raise money for this much needed community center that you see being built behind me. And because of the many donations from Americans, just like yourself, we are raising the needed funds for this glorious leadership and economic community center. We aim nothing less than the full transformation of Chicago's most violent block, O Block, into Opportunity Block. Here we discuss issues, local to national, from the streets to the capital. For you who have been on the journey with us, welcome back. And if this is your first time watching Rooftop Revelations, we're glad you're joining us for this latest edition of Rooftop Revelations. I recently celebrated my godson's 21st birthday in June at Carson's Ribs, downtown Chicago. We all laughed and joked as Christian Tucker tried red wine for the first time. This week, Tucker wants to begin his job at Project Hood, my nonprofit that works every day to build up our community by reducing violence. Then I got this call this past Sunday from his mother and the news shocked me. Christian had been shot multiple times while sitting in his car and was no longer alive. As now, we do not know why he was killed. All we know is that his death was senseless. He was the last kid you would expect this to happen to. He was not a statistic. He was not, oh, he's from the South Side, that's why. He came from a good family that loved him dearly. He was a good soul with much to give to this world. I met Christian through another family tragedy in 2018. Christian's 15-year-old brother Chauncey died in a crash involving a snowplow. This tore the family up. I tried to be there as much as I could for them and Christian and I just began developing a deeper and deeper connection. It was organic, like we were meant to walk this earth together. When his mother asked me to be Christian's godfather, I was honored. Christian, he was very close to his younger brother and I've seen how tragedies like these can lead an individual down the wrong path. They begin to question the world, lose faith and make bad decisions. But Christian didn't, instead, he tattooed his brother's name on his forearm in remembrance and went to work on his future. He finished high school, went on to junior college where he played basketball on the team. He also had a passion for music. Most of all, he just had an air about him that made people like and trust him, especially the youth. That is why I was excited for him to begin work at Project Hood where I knew he would make a significant impact. Now, I feel nothing but profound sense of loss, a void, Every death is hard, but this one hurt, especially part of me wonders if I somehow failed him. I know how dangerous this neighborhood can be. And was I vigilant enough? You can't bubble wrap these kids through life, but could I have done more? I would never know the answer, but I know his life on earth meant something. His mom now must live without two wonderful sons. The world is not better off having lost these two lives, but at the same time, we must make both of these lives matter and count. I will admit, I had flashes of quitting after I heard the news about Christian. The pain of dealing with these deaths is excruciating. I often wonder why and what for, what meaning is to be found. At the same time, I know that he wouldn't want me to quit. He believed in my dream of helping each kid achieve the American dream, the very same dream he was pursuing at the moment of his death. As I move forward in life, I vow to carry Christian's voice with me as I mentor each youth toward the American dream. Maybe he did truly start his work with me as the plan was. I just didn't expect it to be in this form. God bless you and God bless America. This has been another Rooftop Revelation.